so in this session we will continue our legacy of uh, organic named reaction series okay and now today we will discuss we will talk about this this new name reaction that is called sia mission density rearrangement okay sia mission density rearrangement or you can say or you can say abnormal river treatment reaction okay so either you can say cm mission density rearrangement or you can say abnormal river treatment reaction and this is our general overview of this reaction here we have taken pyrrole in the substrate and and in the reagent we have taken here we have taken here haloform okay we have taken here haloform this is called haloform chx3 this is a haloform haloform okay a and here in the chx3 chx3 this x can be wait uh, let me show you let me show you here x3 and this x can be bromine this x can be bromine chlorine or iodine okay you can take here at this uh, at this x position any halo group like the bromine chlorine or iodine okay and this chx3 is good halo form and we have to take a strong base also right and then you get a product that is a pyridine three halo pyridine okay so my task is to it should tell you the mechanism of the reaction okay so so without mechanism organic is nothing okay then the organic will be a literature right so now we have to start we have to understand the mechanism how this pyrrole ring how this pi member ring will changing into six member ring okay it means something happening it means something is happening in this reaction so now let's see what is happening in this reaction so now let's go to the mechanism part okay see so we have here uh, we have taken here a pyrrole right here is a pyrrole okay fine and uh, and we have taken the halo form it means the halo form is a, like a c chx3 okay right x because cx chx3 is the tetrahedral so i am making here tetrahedral structure right this is our chx3 right chx3 here the x can be you can take a bromine iodine or you can take a chlorine right uh, so now what happened and you have also taken a base here base a strong base you can take any strong base here right and i am and i am denoting this base with b okay b just b just shortcut b just shortcut form to denote the base okay so i will denote base by b b b alphabet right so we have taken here base okay so this is a base right this is a base fine this b minus is denoted as a base okay denoted as base right you can either write base or you can either write b minus those are the same thing right but uh, but for the convenience we write b minus in the shortcut form okay so let me erase all this okay see so we have taken here b minus that is a base a strong base here right so this b minus will take a proton from the from this uh, halo form this proton right okay because this proton is a acidic proton because this proton is a acidic proton acidic proton 
okay so that's why this base will take this proton and you will find something like this here is a x here is a carbon and here x and here goes on the negative charge two electrons in this in this orbital okay right and here is a negative charge also right so what happened here is a x so what happened because on this carbon now you have got a negative charge so to make a, a stable life so to make a, a stable to remove this uh, negative charge this x group because this x group are the halo group you know that this x can be br this can be cl this can be iodine and you all know that br cl i these are the very good living group okay these are the very good living group so that's why this x will be removed this one x out of this three x one x will be removed and then the carbon will be get a neutral okay so suppose this x will get removed as a x minus right so let me denote here minus of x minus it means minus sign indicate that this x minus is 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 getting removed from this compound okay and now you will get something like this here carbon is a and here is a x you have only now 2x okay x 1x this one 1x this one and you can so this an orbital and in this orbital you have a two electrons present in this one and this is called dihalocarbene dihalo because there is a two halogen groups so that's why and this is the carbene okay dihalocarbene dihalocarbene or you can show this uh, or you can show this uh, in this form also CX2 here is a two electron this is also a representation the representation is so carbene this is also a dihalo carbene okay dihalo carbene so you now got a dihalo carbene cx2 okay now what happened now we have a in the reaction we have a pyrrole ring five member ring okay pyrrole so there is a pyrrole here we have pyrrole here right okay fine so now and we have got here dihalocarbene so this is our carbene cx2 and this is electron two electrons left okay and you know that carbene is a electron deficient okay carbene is a this carbene is a electron deficient carbene is electron deficient in nature okay because all the four four bond of the carbon is not a complete okay so that's why carbene is a electron deficient so here we have taken here dihalocarbene here right so what happened now this carbene shows the insertion reaction on the double bond this carbene shows insertion reaction insertion reaction on alkene on double bond okay on electron rich double bond right electron rich double bond okay so how this insertion is happening here let me show you okay so let me erase all this fine see because the carbene is a electron deficient so let me make the picture more bigger okay then you can understand very clearly okay see we have something like this carbene here right double bond here is a h and you can so hydrogen this is our nitrogen lone pair okay and we have here carbene dihalocarbene here right and this is the electron deficient so now carbene shows a insertion reaction to the electron rich bond and this double bond will show the will do a insertion reaction okay so so how this happens see this double bond will attack on this carbene okay and then 
even got something like this. I am telling you in the very step by step, but the but the actual mechanism is uh, in the one step. Okay, but I am telling you for the understanding purpose in the two step. Okay, so that you can uh, you can clearly see what is happening here, right? So here the attack on the this becomes CX2, and here will be negative charge here, right? And here will be the positive charge. Now what happened? This negative charge will attack on this positive charge. Electron deficient, electron deficient. Okay, this negative charge will attack on this center, uh, on this carbocation. Now, right. So now you will get something like this. Here is a N, and you got a C. Here is a X. Here is a X. You got a triple uh, three member ring formation here, like a epoxide type. This is not epoxide. Okay, this is a three member ring formation. Right, this is a carbon here. Okay, let me show you. Okay, and here is a hydrogen. Right. Okay, but in the actual case, uh, there is no such a two step. Okay, like uh, I have made this as a first step, and then I have done this as a second step. But in the actual case, what happened? In the actual case, something is happening like this. See. If you have pyrrole here, right, and if you have here dihalocarbene, then, then in the actual case, then in the actual case, the actual mechanism is something is happening like this: this double bond, this double bond will attack on this carbon, and then this will attack on this carbon. It means at the same time, at the same time, all the thing is happening in the actual case, in the actual mechanism. But I have here. Told you in the two a step first a step is this one and second a step is this one to understand you very clearly. Okay, I hope you will all understand what I want to say. Right. Okay. Fine. Now you will get a three member ring here, something like this. This is our three member ring here. Okay, and you know that this is not a stable, and you also know that because we have taken a strong base in the solution, so that's why. The base will come here. This B minus will become here again, and this base will take nitrogen proton. Okay, this base will take nitrogen proton, and then what happen? This bond will be gonna shift here, and then, then this 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 bond will be gonna break. This bond will be gonna break, and after the breaking the bond, this one, so that this group has to be leave because here here the X is a you can take x here is a br cl i right and you know that these are all the very good living group okay good living group so that's why it will have to be leave so that's why when the base will take proton from this uh, from this nitrogen and then the bond will be shift and after the and after the ring will be break and then the C, then this x minus will be leave okay and then you will get something like this let me show you here let me erase okay let me erase let me erase right okay see See here, what happened now? Uh, sorry. Now what you will get product something like this. Now it's a five member. Sorry. Now it's a six member ring will be formed. Something like this. Oh sorry. Yes. See, wait. I don't know what is happening here. Let me change.
Okay, fine. See, now you will get something six member ring product here. Something like this. This will become now pyridine, okay? This will become now pyridine, okay? And here is a X group is attached. Now. And you can take here X either. This X can be chlorine, bromine, or iodine, right? Okay. And this is uh, this compound is called three halopyridine. Three halopyridine because on the three position, the halogen group is now attached. Okay, right? And this is our final product. This is our final product. Okay, this is our final product. Right? This is our final product. You have got now six member pyridine ring. Okay, uh, so that's all about this reaction, right? this uh, this abnormal remote immune reaction okay i hope uh, you all have uh, understood very clearly okay uh, and uh, if you have if you have any doubt uh, you can ask me or you can tell me okay right and if you have understand this concept then please like share and subscribe our channel chemistry portal okay uh, so uh, stay tuned right so, tab tak liye Tata. Bye bye. See you soon in the next episode series of Organic Name Reaction Series. And thank you for watching my video.